the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding in this case is a football. Booth, eat my goal! The goalie has got football pie all over his shirt. So, Alex, welcome to Eat My Goal. It's really kind of you to join us today. Um, Alex, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, if you like, before we start? Yeah, I just want to say thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I'm a local lad, Chippenham uh, lad. I'm actually from the town. Uh, yeah, I've started playing football since I was probably nine, ten, and just worked my way up. I've played at loads of different clubs. You can Google, there's too many to name now, but you Google me, you'll see a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying myself at uh, Chippenham Town. And, and I'm actually starting my own one-to-one uh, -one football coaching business, which is going to be in the local sort of Chippenham, Corsham area. Fantastic. So if you... If you've got any young kids who want any coach or anything like that, please get in touch. Lovely job. Yeah, thanks, Alex. That's really great. So the format then of Eat My Goal is five questions in five minutes. Randomly selected questions from my bag. Is that okay? It, it will be yeah. a little bit on the hoop. So we have to think quickly about certain things. Is that okay? <laughs> but um, you know, but um, I'm, I'm sure you do great. So are you ready to start, Alex? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Okay, let's start the clock. And your first, having a little rummage, your first question is... It's number 13. Oh. Okay, and that question is, same one I asked Mike once, if you could break the world record for something, Alex, what would it be? Oh, I think I'm going to go straight for 100 metres, I think. Oh, right, yeah. 100 metres sprint, yeah, something like that. So, so what you do, what's your PB at the moment then? Oh, I haven't done it in years, but I like to say in around 11 second mark. Wow, that is quick. Yeah, I like to think that anyway. Yeah. I haven't done it in years, but... Was that someone chasing you or are you just kind of motivated? You weren't being chased by a copper or anything? Uh, no, I, well, I don't think so. I was probably, probably only 15 at the time, but yeah. yeah. Are you guys competitive in the camp then with, with running and stuff and training? Yeah, I, th I think it's... I think football is very competitive as it is. And I think everyone wants to be the quickest, everyone wants to be the strongest. Yeah, yeah. And in training, you'll see that everyone wants to have a race with each other. But I like to think... I'm probably the quickest at the club. Nice, um, well done, mate. Yeah, good. A few lads will probably disagree, but yeah, I think I've got to be up there. Yeah, well done, mate. That's good. Thank you very much. Right, second question. And it's number number one. And it's, um, if you could only use three websites for the rest of your life, which ones would you choose? Uh, I'm going to be quite boring here. It's going to be one's going to be Twitter, one's going to be Facebook, just to stay in touch with sort of family and friends, and then the third probably YouTube because you're always on there scrolling through just All right. random stuff. So yeah, I think those three for me. All right, fair dues. So nothing like the BBC News or anything like that, nothing boring. You're not you're not a middle aged man yet, Alex. When do you nah, get to play age? I, I think Twitter sort of covers it all, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's very balanced, very fair, Twitter. Yeah, 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 very. <laughs> Very good, mate. Thank you. Right, next question. Question 11. So I think it's like the FA Cup, isn't it, mate? Question yeah. 11. Right, this, this is a faith question, Alex, for you. Okay. Um, as the club chapman and everything, chaplain. When was the last time that you were in church? The last time? Um, I'm going to say probably quite a while ago now. It's probably about secondary school so when i was probably about 15 so that's right. 10 years ago now um right. that's probably the last time i might was that a christmas event or something was it yeah it was a christmas event actually no saying that i did do in swansea when i was playing for them we did a not a carol service so we went to the church read out some uh read out some stuff and i think i was probably about 18 so probably okay. seven years ago well, yeah so good. it's been a while it's been a while definitely yeah well done that's good well done thank you very much for that What's your nearest church then, by the way? If you're uh, geographically, probably probably your church, I'd assume. I, well, we're the, we're the Baptists, the bottom of Station Hill. Yeah, it's probably yeah, probably is that one. Yeah, yeah really, probably around about that. Yeah, yeah. wave out the window in a minute, then you might see me. Yeah, I know. Right, Alex, number twenty-four is the next next one, and and that is football question. Okay, if you had the opportunity, I oh know. Uh, yeah, if you had the opportunity to say one thing to the Blue Army, what would you say? I would say... Especially with the COVID and everything, especially. Uh, yeah, I'd say... Well, the first thing I'd say is Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, yeah. Happy New Year. And I'd say thank you for all your support over the years and thank you for coming to the games when obviously we're not winning all the time. But I think this season it's going to be a real change. I think we're going to be up there this yeah. season and I hope to see you all at the ground next uh, this season. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Alex. Well done, mate. 
Right. Do you get much stick when things don't go well? Is it? Does it get? Do you get the old um, ladies effing and blinding and that on the uh, pitch line? To be honest, I think the Chippenham fans are probably the nicest fans I've had. I've <laughs> I've been about and um, yeah, I'll definitely for sure they're the nicest fans because even when you lose, they're still positive, which is yeah quite rare in a football fan. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think the Chippenham fans are definitely the nicest. I think the level the Chippenham Town level of football is just good, honest football. Do you know what I mean? It's no yeah. kind of um, yeah, exactly. They don't, they, stuff, they, they don't so expect just, too much. They don't yeah. think we're going to be well beaters, but they, they sort of understand where we are at. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and you, you can see, yeah, exactly. You see, working really hard, you're putting in a good shift. I think people appreciate mm. that, don't you? Yeah, so exactly. especially you, Alex. You run around all day long with your GPS tracker thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah not wrong. Not wrong. Last legs. Right, this is question number five, Alex. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. You're doing some really great answers, actually. And it's question number 12, which is... Um, okay, it's another football question. <clears throat> who would you say, and I know your knowledge isn't expansive on this one, but who would you yeah. say is the greatest Chippenham Town player ever? Not including Chip yourself, of course. Oh, God, yeah. I was going to say, I am locally from Chippenham, but I've never really followed yeah. them that well. Um Okay, we can we can widen it then. Who would you say is personally? Would you say was the greatest player ever? You can add Chip. Well, in, well, the in your players opinion. I know of and have went on to do great things. Obviously, Tyrone Mings for me. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, played for England. So, what more do you have to say for that? Um, he's, he's about your age, isn't he? I guess actually. So do, do yeah, you know he's, I think he's two, maybe two or three years older than me. Is he right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't know him personally, but. Um, yeah, I think for him, he's got to be up there. I, I know he probably didn't do the most in the Chippenham Town shirt, but to go on and play for England, I think that's yeah, he done well. well that's what the standard is, isn't it? So yeah, the boy done well. He's gone from one stop and he's to Wembley. So he's he's done yeah. all right. He's done all right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what about what about greatest player of all time for you personally? Who would you say for me? Uh, it's Messi, uh, hands down. I know there's a lot of people say Ronaldo. Like my sort of generation, it's either Messi or Ronaldo. Um, yeah. But yeah, for me, Messi, I think I think he's got it all. Uh, I think his stats speak for himself. Um, I could argue with it all day, but um, yeah, for me, it's Messi. Yeah, he's, he's just surpassed Pele's goal sc all time goal scoring record, isn't he? Six yeah, and 40 odd goals or something ridiculous. Yeah, I seen a stat earlier as well. I said for someone to beat that, they've got an average 42 goals a season yeah. for the next 15 years at the same That's club, which it's outrageous, isn't it? Probably never going to be done again. Yeah, I don't think so. Really. No, no, it's, so. It's, it's absolutely outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alex, that's it, mate. It's all my questions done. Oh, brilliant. Thank so, you. Yeah, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And uh, all the very best with your, your new enterprise, for your, your business yeah. and everything. Sounds fantastic. Thank Look you very much. Your publicity around. And uh, yeah. happy Christmas, New Year. This is going out in January time, of course. So, happy New Year okay, to you. Yeah. And uh, all the very yeah. best to you and the family. Yeah, Merry Christmas. And thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for yeah, playing nice my one. goal, Alex. Yeah, Cheers, thank you. Take care. Cheers. Bye now. See you later. He has another. Big bang, stick it in. Thank you. Good night.